A. Gray, Tulsi voted not present. Let's talk about this. Um, what are your thoughts on that with regard to the impeachment? Do you think it was a bold move? Do you think it was a um, a weak move? What do you think it was? I, I don't think I would call it weak. I mean, I, I think like in that situation, my whole thing was I was more interested in seeing the person's work than I was in like, okay, well, what did they do? Because... You know, the fact that we're in that situation in the first place, it's not because of AOC, it's not because of Tulsi Gabbard, but, you know, they're faced with a decision, and they don't just report for themselves, they also kind of have to reflect what they think their district would want. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it's one of those things, I, I respect when people were like, this process was totally mishandled, we didn't even look at a lot of the financial... Well, well, they didn't look at any of the financial stuff. All the financial stuff, they didn't even touch. Why? Because Democrats and Republicans are complicit with all that stuff, too. How That's did AOC vote true. on the impeachment? I think she was yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure she was yes. Hey, Aaron, do you mind looking that up? What, how AOC yeah, check on that. voted yesterday on the sure impeachment? I'm pretty sure she voted yes. Um, yeah, I saw Tulsi's statement. Mm-hmm. And what her statement made, uh, that actually made sense to me. She goes, I wasn't backing out or, or she goes, I don't agree with this process. And I think this impeach, this whole process is just partisan and it's keeping the country divided. She's trying to take more of a, in certain areas, um, a, a, you know, a let's unify the country stance. So she's like, I don't agree with this process. I, there's a lot of, I think Trump. But I can't vote no because of how corrupt Trump is. Right. You know, and, and yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a pretty principled way to go. Mm -hmm. And and I think someone could also use that same, uh, you know, that same logic to justify a yes vote where it's like, well, I'm going to vote yes because like this is where it's going. This is what my district wants. But I will say this process has been terrible. Um, you know, this is not, you know, where I want us to be going. This is not the direction we should be going. But, you know, so, you know, I, I was kind of more. I, I was more all about like the explanations because it's not, you know, it's not their fault. We're kind of in this, right. this situation, right. which, you know, I'm curious to see what is going to happen next because I mean, I, you know, you and I were talking to, uh, you know, a club owner, I'm not going to say their name, but, but I think they're likely an undecided voter. And I think they kind of echoed what I think a lot of undecided voters are saying right now, where it's just like, why are we spending this political capital here when there's an election coming up and, and you know, just beat them at the ballot box? Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I, I mean, I've said this before. This impeachment is a waste of time. There's, the Senate is never going to... So it's you're, you just wasted everyone's time, which now you're giving Trump a... Well, look at all the stuff you did. I mean, look at what he's going to be able to say where he's just like... Oh, well, they were impeaching me. Look at all this stuff that happened. I got a new NAFTA through. I got my uh, my got my budget. Pentagon budget. I got that. I got a, you know, a net neutrality vote got squashed. 750,000 people lost their food stamps. Oh, by the way, well, they were all telling you that I'm public enemy number one and I'm a traitor and I'm treasonous. They gave me the Patriot Act. Yeah. I know. And it's just like, the, the, I've said this before, the way to defeat Trump once and for all, because even if you were to be successful with the impeachment, what was her vote? Uh, yes on both. She voted yes. Okay, okay. so both are. And I heard she, she voted yes. Is it true that she chastised Tulsi for her present vote? Yeah. I, I I actually when Tulsi the way I explained it, I agreed with her present vote. I really did. I was like, that's the that's that's smart leadership. That wasn't like a cop out. I'm gonna I'm trying to work both sides. It didn't feel like in in her explanation of it. And I think Tulsi's pretty principled. Uh, there's some things I disagree with on, but. You know, she supports uh, pardoning Julian Assange, and I got a lot of credit for that. Mm -hmm. And the present vote, actually, I'm glad because I do think this impeachment is nonsense. And that we've 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 talked about this before. If you had a Bernie Tulsi ticket, you would crush Donald Trump. Oh, absolutely. And here's the thing: you beat him in the uh, the popular vote and a crushing a crushing electoral college vote. You shut him up for good because you're like. You couldn't all you couldn't even win the popular vote the first time. You had to get the electoral vote. Right. So we put you're done. America doesn't want you anymore. You got in on a fluke. 
Hillary ran a bet. You're done. It's over. All mm-hmm. these people that liked you the first time bailed on you because you yeah, were true. Yeah, a lot of them saw through you. They saw through you. They believed you initially, and then you bailed out. You gave a 1.5 trillion tax break. You lay lay all the things, and then you go, you're done. Well, and that's why we have to ask, you know, will this kind of beltway stuff, like, convert people? And and I don't mm-hmm. think it will. No, it won't. You know, this, I, this is, everyone's sick of this. Because here's the thing, and, and we said this, we've, we've talked about this on this show, your show, Jimmy's show. I talked about this on RT. So let's say whenever a Democrat gets back in the White House, the Republicans are going to pull this shit. So it's like it's a it's a way and the American people are nowhere anywhere in this process. It's just all this beltway insider crap. It makes everybody hate both parties and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's such a fucking waste of time, man.